Welcome to Taste Buds. I'm Maria. I'm Allie. I'm Alyssa. I'm Rebecca. I like that Alyssa had to question who she was for a minute, but that's not why we're here. <laughs> we're here to talk about friendship and fun and tasting things because we're buds and we taste things because we're taste buds. Uh, this week's episode is brought to you by our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Who is not Garrett's popcorn? I was gonna say not, <laughs> Garrett's popcorn, Allie's not a sponsor, boyfriend. but Allie's boyfriend is, <laughs> and he lives in Chicago, the windy city, and he got us little treaty treats. So on today's little episode here, we're gonna eat some popcorn, try some snackies. We're gonna talk about our lives and what's been going on. We're just gonna hang out. Everybody so? say thank you, James. Uh, thank, thank you, you James. James. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Oh. <laughs> of the sugar variety. Oh, when I, yeah. Or in my it. case, the sugar free. <laughs> okay. When I, when I realized that James was coming, I made a special request because when I went to Chicago like a decade ago, I tried Garrett's popcorn and it was one of the most delightful things I ate while there. So well, James I mean, came yeah. through. So and what I are we mean, waiting for? Here's the thing. So when we had oh. talked to James, we had specifically asked for Chicago style popcorn. Which and so in our mind, well, your mind, especially my mind, yes. Chicago style was the kind that it is caramel. It, so it's caramel first, and then you coat it in cheddar, and that shit is boom. It's so good. And I'm not gonna lie, our sugar free daddy, he failed me. Oh no! Yet again. <laughs> Just kidding, but. He got the kind oh, yeah. that's caramel and cheese. And, I mean, he told us ahead of time. He, you know, said all the things. But my heart is still broken, and I will never forgive him. All right, well, Dumb and Dumber over here. <laughs> 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 to be fair, Alyssa did she not did. want my assist, you know? No, I was, she did Yeah, see, I have to say, I don't, I did not remember oh. the double coating. Although, when you talked about it, I was like, sure, it sounds delicious. I remember... Garrett's popcorn Chicago mix. So okay, I didn't want. I'm scared about the microphone. So go you ahead. Just are a noise girl. I am, and I live in an apartment, and it's really hard for me. Okay, because <laughs> I hear all the noises. All right. Well, I just need to report that this is regular, and so this will all be for me, and you guys can eat this. So Allie doesn't like. <laughs> I'm going for different flavored popcorn. I'm going She's for a pure, popcorn a purist, purist, if you will. A popcorn purist. Yes. I don't know why I was Well, that. the Chicago mix. <laughs> Is the actual mix? It's it's getting both flavors at once. That looks real sketch to me. Oh my god! It's better. Don't lie to me. It's better. I will fight you. The caramel tastes better. The cheddar tastes better. No, I don't believe you. We're we're gonna do one of each because it's supposed to be on the same. Well, Maria just wants to be right, so she's probably well, gonna lie. I just had now. a caramel piece. I didn't have a Maria just wants to watch the world burns. It tastes coming. really good. That's a good flavoring cheddar and caramel. She doesn't want it to be good, but she, I mean it's it good, is. but I like the other kind more. Oh well, I enjoy this. Because now I just want to eat all the cheddar. The fuck it's all for me. No. The cheddar is it extra was. tasty. Yeah, the cheddar is extra cheddary. Well, so in the spirit of all this, um, oh, this is yummy. Someone give me some popcorn. We are. No. Sharing we, is caring. Here, put them in the lid. That's what we're gonna do. Thank you. Um, Friendship. So, in the spirit of all this, we're thinking okay, this week we just kind of want to do like a catch up with each other. <laughs> Did are you, you trying to? You are you trying to kill me? What happened? Rebuka can't stand all the noises. And I'm like, how do we need what's happening? I was trying, trying to loosen it up so you could scoop some out for her. I was being thoughtful by doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that loud? All right, this is gonna be a very entertaining episode. Okay, so basically, we just want to catch up with each other, see what we've been up to this week, and um, yeah, just do a little bit more. Fun. We're gonna have we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun today. Um, and so we may have to separate them. <laughs> we're probably gonna separate them. Yeah, I'm like, can I sit next to Alyssa right now? I don't know. And <laughs> I'll be good. Um, <laughs> since yeah, I guess I'm not tiptoeing around us anymore. So <laughs> I have a boyfriend. Ellie has a boyfriend. <laughs> and um, he I lives in Chicago. He lives in Chicago. I have a long distance boyfriend. He lives in Chicago. I get to see him every few months, and it makes me really happy, and he was just here. We um, finally got to meet him. Last weekend, you guys got to meet him. We did. What is the, the general consensus? You're, you're, you're hearing it first. Okay, so I had this moment where I got a, a dry spot in my throat, and I started almost throwing up. Why? 
<laughs> and you know who showed up with a bag for me to throw up in? James. James. That's a good man. So, yeah, he was there for me. Like, Allie's, like, hiding away from the throw up sounds. Uh-huh. She shut down. But James, James showed up. And, and thank you, James. I appreciate that. You don't, you don't even know me, and you're there for me. You're a good guy. Yeah, that was good. That's all you have? Yeah, that was good? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. He's yeah, fine. He's was fine. Good. We had a fun time. He's a nice boy. He's a nice boy. Oh my god, he's not like my grandma. He's a nice boy. He's a nice boy. boy. Yeah. When did they come to your mother? <laughs> <laughs> he did be on He did. Yeah, you know, my mom. So yeah, um, I guess, I don't know, we're hard launching the boyfriend today, so. Mm. Didn't know we were doing that, but yeah. Um, so, James was here. here. James was here last weekend, and it was really nice. We went to, um. Oh my god, what do we do? So we went to Metro Diner with my mom so that he could try um, chicken and waffles. He had chicken and waffles. <laughs> I like also, this strawberry butter. Also, yes, he loved it. Oh yeah. Oh my yeah. god. And also, um, I got a side of biscuits and gravy just because I also love it. Mm. But um, he had never had it. Also thought that was amazing. What? Well, yeah. he's not southern. I mean, it's a pretty southern dish. Yeah, hundred percent. I I lived in New York and I have had biscuits with gravy. I did it. No? Not in New York. Biscuits and like southern gravy, like the white, like the cream sausage gravy. Yeah. I did in not. In New York? Yeah. No. I never had it until we got down here. Yeah. All right. Hmm. We'll discuss this later. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, a debate on uh, biscuits and gravy in New York and South Carolina. But um, I'm sure it exists, no. but it's not like a... I'm I feel great. like it's, it's not like gravy. A, it's an, no, not yeah. a biscuit. Why would you do that? Not like a, not, I'm not talking about like a Thanksgiving brown gravy, but it's a different kind of gravy. Oh no, I'm going to New York later this month, so I'll What I'm saying is it may not be like everywhere, like in diners and stuff, but I've had it. Like, people made it. Oh, yeah. Like, alright. It's always a known thing. It's not like I got here and was like, oh my god, what is it? Alright, well we'll do her half. But sure, but sure, I didn't realize that he was. Anyway, he had his first physical thing gravy. He loved that too. And then on Saturday, we went to Alchemist Hall, where I cheated on all of you, you because did. I had Shrebers before you guys. I will never forgive you. I'm so sorry. Never. Do I regret it? No, I do not. <laughs> That's rude. No, I do not. James. Um, Friendship over. James and I feasted at Alchemist Hall, and we had a pastrami sandwich from... <gasps> Friendship over! No! <laughs> you actually <laughs> left! <laughs> I'm back. Dramatic. I was gonna say she put her sequin jacket on and got dramatic as fuck. It really did. Really did. I was dramatic before. We, we love that. But yeah, we um we had a pastrami sandwich from Shrewers. We had dumpling from the Dumpling Lady. We had bao buns from so spicy. Bao so spicy. broth. Mm-hmm. Listen, we got the sauce on the side and I okay. just did a little dip. Yeah, that's the one. um. He's not even a dip. At that point, you're just wafting the spice towards it. <laughs> I mean, I literally just want them to whisper the spice at it. Yeah. Because it's that hot for me. Yeah. Um, what else do we have? We had, um, oh, we did get some poppy queso, too. Oh, and some gelato. Oh, my God, the gelato is so good. I love this. Optimus Hall, we're definitely going to take you there for taste buds sometime. It is a delight. It's like it's like a bougie cafeteria. Like food truck. Like a food court. In, like a bougie it, food court. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. It's so good. Um. Anyway. And then we came over here. And yeah. You guys we watched football <clears throat> and did other things. And we ordered <laughs> so much food from Midwood Smokehouse. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. We love it there too. We like yeah. the nachos. We like the nachos. The nachos are the best. Nachos and a side of hush puppies. That's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. We had hush puppies. We had burnt ends. We had the Their mano, hush puppies the are my favorite. cheese fries. Like we had so much. It was so good. He loved it. Mm-hmm. A little bit. And then he left on Monday. Now my fingers are Yeah, I need pointy. Napkin. Napkin, please. This past week was <laughs> a very busy one for me personally. I moved apartments. My apartment that I moved to was literally across the hall. But I was moving from a two bedroom to a one bedroom because I'm poor. Okay, I'm poor and I needed to downsize. Like apartment prices are crazy. And I had to downsize and unfortunately even if they lower the prices for new tenants, like they don't lower the ones that have been there. So you have to move to get in a lower price. So I had to like really let go of a lot of things, put some things in storage and then organize the move itself while working, while doing podcasting, while living life. And it was exhausting. Um, but I am in my new place and it's okay. What's funny is I moved my 
last apartment because my upstairs neighbor was loud <clears throat> and and mean <laughs> like we got in fight um <laughs> and so the my last apartment the person who lived above me was so quiet and now my new apartment the person above me i can hear a lot and i think it's just a guy who like stomps his feet like he just doesn't know how to pick up his feet and i'm like wear slippers um but <laughs> i had that like Why feeling like, this? like yeah i had that like feeling of like oh my god like he's gonna give me panic because my old neighbor could literally hear all of her moves and I would start getting anxious about all the noise that she's making. And I'm like, so Alyssa had told me about like getting earplugs Mm -hmm. that can at least balance out some of the sound. It doesn't necessarily take away all the sound. And I did get a pair. You did? Um, Yeah. I think I chose one that doesn't take out enough sound. So I feel like I might need a next level up. Okay. Um, And I do use like a noise machine in my apartment, but I am learning more and more that I am super sensitive to sound. It was very obvious when we started this podcast that I was super sensitive to sounds in the background. Like, I can handle yeah, like my skin. I just wanted to pull my skin off for a second there. But, um, if it's someone else's sounds that aren't supposed to be there, I don't like it at all. Um, maybe it's because I've lived alone for 10 years. I don't know, but like, not a fan. My animal sounds I can hear all day. I don't want to hear Mr. Man's feet upstairs, you know? So, I'm figuring that out. Um, but yeah, that was the main thing was moving last week and trying not to be sad about it. Mm. Uh, but being a little bit sad about it because I love my old apartment. Okay. So. Hear that. Mm-hmm. And you had fun on the weekend, right? I did a have a fun bit. weekend. Yeah, I had fun. I was exhausted, but okay. I had fun. Yeah. We had fun with you. Mm-hmm. Thanks. We did. So as we're sitting here, the only thing I'm learning is I don't like popcorn. <laughs> yeah, it's not worth it for me. I think the only reason I like the other popcorn is because it's so crunchy that it doesn't have a lot of the kernely pieces. But I'm finding a lot of them in my teeth and in my wisdom holes, and I hate it. Not wisdom, wisdom holes. Yours is so buttery. <laughs> Yours is a, maybe too buttery. Oh, I haven't tried the butter ones yet. Oh. It wasn't, you weren't invited to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, she's hand feeding me. <laughs> I am. I have been. What's the verdict? I don't, I don't love it. There's well, like no. Stop eating it. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm trying to figure out like there's no crunch to it. It's just like. All right. I'm going to try one of these cheddar ones. But I, I think it's pretty good. If it tastes like the cheese one, and no, caramel. I'm no, it doesn't. Well. It's just cheese, and it's very strong cheese. The cheese is good. Yeah, I don't. I think they all taste good. I still would go for the cheese caramel mix than I would butter, but I think mm. it tastes good. Listen, I'll take this home if y'all don't want it. Mm. <laughs> I don't. Thank you, James. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, wait. Before we get into these two, I also want to tell you guys um, something really embarrassing happened to me. While my boyfriend was here, um, I had an allergic reaction to something. It was either a makeup wipe or something else. Um, but my entire face, yeah, got swollen. And I'm not. I'm not talking about like it. Just like it got a little bit swollen. No, it was. Swollen. I'm talking about like if you ever seen Hitch, on like the scene <laughs> where Will Smith has an allergic reaction, and he's like, "No, yeah, that's what I looked like." I, and you know, I, I don't would, think it was that extreme. Oh, you didn't see me. I mean, it's when it picture. got, yeah, it got, I haven't shown you all it's the worse. pictures. Would you like to see them? Yeah. I'll show all of you. We'll do a it live was, reaction right now. It was a right live reaction. Because it, be it got really bad. I was going to say, that one picture you sent in the group chat, I was like, oh, her cheeks are swollen. That's not even, you had, it, it was so bad. I looked, first of all, I had to send a video. <gasps> <laughs> it's like you got your wisdom teeth removed. My face wasn't even that puffy after my wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Insane. I'm probably not going to let you guys see this, but I... It's rough. It's just then, very chipmunky. It's like, my whole face was swollen, and like, I could barely, like, one of my eyes was partially closed. Like, I looked crazy, right? And of course, my boyfriend, who I only get to see every couple of months because we're long distance, right? Of course he's here. Well, my face, I look like a blowfish. So, I loved that I mean, you were the cutest blowfish. Thank you. You're welcome. He said that, too. <laughs> You're not in those words. He said I was beautiful. Aww. I felt like a blowfish, but yeah, she's cute. She's having a rough day. She's having a rough. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not only the cheeks that are big, but it's your eyes. Eye. Your eyes are like, <laughs> help me. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes partially closed. It's so bad. But like, yeah, she's like, like, 
help me. <laughs> and you can see, like, my skin, like, it's my face swelled up so much that my skin, like, got tight and basically just, like, started shedding everywhere. Yeah. But luckily, I did have a very nice facial yesterday. And I was able to get. I, I feel I'd like to report that your face is nice. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I want to share one more thing about mine before y'all get to go. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> This is the Rebecca and Allie show today. Well, I just remembered, like, yeah, I moved, whatever, whatever. But at work this week, there was a false, I work at a school, there was a false um, report about a live you-know-what. And all, like, I was coming onto campus, and I just saw helicopters and emergency vehicles everywhere. And our campus didn't send anything out, being, like, locked down or anything. For 20, 30 minutes, we had no idea what was going on. And it was very obvious that something was going on. And my campus had one of those a few years ago where people passed. And, like, it was very disturbing and reminded me that, yeah, I do work for a school, which was not a very safe place to be all the time. And it it made my students not want to come to class. It made me not want to come to class. I'm just like, I hate that that's our culture. I hate that that's so normalized. It's not Luckily, it was a false report, meaning, and not, I don't think the report itself was done in bad faith. It's just that it was found that it was, something else made a noise that was not that actually happening. Mm. But people heard a sound that made them think that was happening. But that's good, though, that they reacted. Yes, and they tried yeah. To get we need to figure out the communication happened. aspect about yeah. it, but um, it didn't happen. But the fear of it unfolding was there. And now I got the hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a week. Emotions up and up and down and down. Yeah. Yep, that. <laughs> the same right. day that Rebuka had her school stuff, a whole bunch of stuff happened at my work. It was like, we got there and immediately just like all of our contractors couldn't get into the system. And then there was a small outage. And then there was like a small little like layoff or let go. And then there was like another Fear. person got moved to another team. And it would just like cap snowballing. And I was like, <laughs> like what's next and I had to leave to go to the dermatologist <laughs> um and now I have a small little patch that we're getting questioned about whether it might be a basal cell which isn't terrible because that's easily removable but like it was a day it was a day for all of us like it just like we're talking in the group chat and it just kept going <laughs> have you ever had like had to have one of those removed mm-hmm. before yeah, that's what my shark bite is right here in my neck. Oh. Um, what was that like? Uh, I mean, it's not great. Um, yeah. It's not terrible, but not ideal. It's one of those things where, so it was skin cancer. If you don't know what a basal cell carcinoma is, it's like just a little too much sun, not enough sunscreen. Sun. But I'm so pasty and I get it all over me. You know what I mean? Like, I try. But I'm so pasty. So I can think about the sun and I'd probably get one. So not ideal. Um, So I have to go for regular checkups just to see, look at my body. It was kind of funny when I went to the dermatologist. It was a new one. And I've never met him before. And then they're naked. And I'm like, well, this is ideal. And he goes to like look over everything and I had my little undies on still and he like was lifting my belly and he's like well let's look over here at your belly and I was like in an, in another life <laughs> I'd have been like no <laughs> don't touch it <laughs> but I was like it was just so funny because he was like oh just let me look at your belly <laughs> and I was like okay like he made me feel really comfortable so yeah. he was really nice that. yeah and it was for once, it was a nice doctor I experience, love that. I love and he was that very much like, "Oh, I'm not sure about this one. Like, I'd rather like for my sake, let's get it tested. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. let's see." And so he was very lovely, nice dude. Now I just have to wait and see if it is. It depends on how far along it is. Sometimes you can get it with a cream. Sometimes they have to remove that chunk of skin, which is like what they did on my neck. Okay. Um, but yeah, the importance of sunscreen. Like, yeah, just wear it wear it and even he said that sometimes like with the one on my neck it's such a weird place that it was because like my hair is often down like how did it get there like of all places like how did you get me and he said that like sometimes especially in a study like even the light rays like hitting the pavement and then bouncing up yeah can get you so 
it's I don't think a lot of people talk about it, and it's just important to know. The more you know. Yeah, I was thinking about how so many like older men, because they're the ones that typically have like bald heads. How many of them have little patches on their bald heads because their your head yeah. gets so much, and if if a man's bald, then he has nothing. Whereas we have some hair, maybe. But even so, like if you don't have dense hair, that can be a very big place you can get some of those spots out. Yeah. I and have, like, luckily, the doctor said out. like, if you have to get cancer, like this is the best one to get. So it's like one of those things where it's not ideal, but like it's easily treatable. So yeah. mm-hmm. no worries. Well, at least there's actions to take. Thank Y'all goodness. are stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> And then you were also, you were also doing some rearranging of your... Yeah, also rearranging my life. um, Moving from my old living situation to a new one. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go into detail too much. Mm -hmm. Just because it's still unfolding as we speak. But yeah, lots of big life changes. Didn't see my life this way a year ago. Mm. (laughs) Vastly different. Um, but here we are. Cheers and we're taking that, yeah. every day in stride. <laughs> Cheers. Yay. <laughs> Not a sponsor. <laughs> Alyssa, how Alyssa. was your week? Yeah, Alyssa, <laughs> yeah it was a, it was a tough week for me. It was um I don't know, I feel like I'm I'm really struggling with just like a lot of self doubt right now. So Uh, I share this to be authentic and not for medical advice on the internet. So please control your warrior fate thumbs. Um, But (laughs) I, uh, I've, I've been through, I've just, my sleep has been really affected in recovery um, and just not getting good quality sleep. And that's probably been ongoing for the past two, three years. And yes, I saw a sleep doctor and yes, it was a horrible experience. And yes, I did the sleep apnea test. And I apparently did not have enough breathing occurrences during the night to be considered to have sleep apnea. Um, sometimes I sound like I'm dying from when I'm snoring. Waiting for Rebecca, waiting for Rebecca, waiting and waiting. And waiting for Rebecca. We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting for Rebecca. 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 We're waiting for Rebecca. We're always waiting for Rebecca. <laughs> yeah, so I got tested. It wasn't enough to be considered for sleep apnea, which really stinks for people who ever have to sleep near me because I do sound like a dying animal. Um, and I'm really sorry for that, but my sleep has been, my sleep has been so bad for so long. And recently I'm sleeping really well, but like too well, like I'm like in a deep, deep sleep. Like I wake up, my head is stuck to the pillow. My arm is all tingly. Like I didn't move. I didn't wake. Um, and that was the ice machine yeah, sorry <laughs> i didn't want any that was the fridge um but i've been sleeping really really well but what that is making me feel is extra tired my body's like oh we love the sleep we want more mm. so i'm having a hard time getting up in the morning and i'm sleeping during the day and taking naps and i just feel exhausted all day and what it's really bringing up for me is like am i struggling again like am i like, am I like severely depressed? Mm. And I, and it really was bringing up a lot of panic of like, I don't want to go back there. Yeah. Right. Like I was in the place where like, I was fighting to get out of bed every day and go to program. And like, I'd come home and like sleep on the couch and just like dissociate and like not be a person. So when did you last get tested for sleep apnea? Cause you sound like me when I got diagnosed with sleep apnea. That's why I ask. Oh really? Yeah. Like I would get retested. Completely. Can you get tested through your new doctor? Like, who actually knows people? And- they, yeah, I, I, can, I can ask her, but I'm sleeping. At, so so it, this is the thing. I slept a long time. I just didn't get enough sleep to actually not be tired. Okay, so, so, the quality of sleep is much better. Mm-hmm. And once I get my body moving for the day, I feel good longevity-wise. But, so I was talking about it with, with Taryn, who's my dietitian. She's been with me through recovery the longest, and... Mm-hmm. Her take is that because the sleep is so good, my body is honestly just trying to, like, catch up. Yeah. Right? Like, I literally haven't slept well in two years. 
So like now that I'm sleeping well, my body's like, oh, more of that, please. Like, oh, like that feels so good. But like internally, I'm like, oh my God, I'm slipping. And I, I've needed a lot of validation this week to be like, like you're still hanging out with friends. You're motivated. Like you're showing other signs that like you're okay. But there's just been like alarm bells of like, I don't want to go backwards. I think it's also like, I don't know, maybe, maybe a positive spin on that is that you're so cognizant of that, that you're like, I don't want to go back there. And this feels like maybe I could be. So you're, you're asking like, is this where I am? And what can I do to not get there? So even if, you know, worst case scenario, maybe you are slipping a little bit you're you're looking at it instead of letting yourself just go like you're into that like dark place again because I know exactly where that is yeah like, you saw it I like I I didn't know how to be a person for a long time but like you I think some of those things that you just said about like you asked your dietitian about it like you mm-hmm. talked to us about it like just that you're questioning all those things and like how you can stay out of it I think is yeah I think you could, I don't know, give yourself some grace for that. For sure. I just, I just. You yourself for that. Yeah. Yeah. And I hear that. I just, I think this week was just a spiral. I had a, I had a really rough week with food. Every meal was kind of a fight and a struggle. There was definitely a lot of restriction happening and, oh, I was just so frustrated with myself, you know? And I was like, oh my God, like just get it together. And I know that's not very kind to myself, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, But when we gone through these patterns for so long and that's the way we're used to talking to ourselves yeah it's easy to see it and fall yeah well and recovery sure. is not a straight line up no right and you know that it's just in in the moment dealing with those yeah feelings. i had yeah. a fucking penny for any time someone says recovery isn't linear yeah <laughs> fucking million <laughs> like no shit sherlock <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm sure a little bit of a sore spot <laughs> Yeah, so th- I don't know. This week I've just been, um, this week I have spent a lot of time in therapy and using my tools and trying to, I don't know. I think the key word there was trying. Yeah. yeah. And that's how you know you're not in it. Yeah, that is, trying. that's really, really fair. That's really fair. It's really fair. We're proud of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you. We're proud of all of you. Not me. <laughs> oh my god you might be proud of me sweetie you're doing great we have exciting news yes we have exciting news so we as of this week i'm so sorry are going to be working with a professional podcast studio here in charlotte <laughs> called everybody studios everybody everybody and they are amazing in terms of really understanding us and wanting to see us go far. And so we're going to be meeting with them this week to think about our mission and what we want out of the podcast. And then we'll be working on our new styling. So this may look different in a few weeks because we're taking it up a notch. And and honestly, like it's because of y'all that you know we need more of you listening, liking, sharing. That is going to help us get our message out there. And we do ask that you subscribe and like. That would be awesome. But we're really excited about what this opportunity is going to bring in terms of us bringing our message farther at a better quality for everyone listening and everyone watching. So we're very excited about this next step. And ladies, we're professionals now. We're super professional. We are very professional. We are very professional. I wouldn't say that. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Well, we're going to try a little bit. We're 75% professional <laughs> today. Today. Maybe. But we're very excited. I think that's given us all a little boost to our week because, you know, we're dealing with life stuff, but there's also exciting opportunities and we're building it with our friends. Like, can we ask for more? I don't think so. I mean, I mean. I mean. Could you dream it? <laughs> you dream it. You can do it. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going But yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, really excited. Really, really excited. Yeah. Especially because we get to be in, like, the creative process, which is what I love and collaborate together <laughs> and literally I'm excited because I don't have to edit as much and like I'm not that great at editing so it'd be cool to have someone more experienced and knowledgeable than me doing some stuff but I am editing this one so take it or leave it <laughs> <laughs> so be nice yes <laughs> this is the 
been fun. I like the casualness of this. Yeah. Uh, do you like hearing about our lives? Uh, what's happening during our weeks? Let mm. us know. Yeah. Let us know what you want to see. Subscribe. What do you What do you want us to try next? What do you want us to snack? Feel what, free what's to snack. What's your favorite snack? Do you like vlog style or yeah. do you like this? We're doing a mix right now, but you know, you'd let us know. Yeah. Did you prefer the Basilico one or do you prefer just us chatting and Basilico snacking? Basilico was fun. And are y'all as annoyed by all their little noises as I am, or am I weird? We're not bullying in this. this. That one. I said y'all. Oh. I shared that bullying. Yeah, so <laughs> let us know. Please like, please subscribe, comment, nice things. Um, and order yourself some Garrett's Popcorn, the Chicago mix, because it is delish. This one's really good. And get yourself a really amazing boyfriend, but you can't have mine. <laughs> but I will borrow him for my barf bag needs. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, we're buds and we tasted things and we hope you have a great day and you taste things too. Bye. Bye. Bye.